Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video first we're gonna check out what Big Remy looks like. That's right, after almost half a year we have a physique update of our current Mr. Olympia champion. Two years in a row and we haven't seen a single update of this guy for half a year. Is this normal? Definitely not. Definitely something out of ordinary. Maybe it was normal back when Dorian was Mr. Olympia, back when there was no internet. Today it's definitely not normal. But if you look at it from the other side, it's his choice, really. I mean, it's his opportunity to promote himself on social media. If he doesn't want to do it, does he really need to? Is he obligated? I mean, is that his duty? as the Mr. Olympia, to show us his life, what he's doing, how he's training, what he's eating, what he's looking like on his Instagram, on his YouTube, on his social media. Is that a duty of a bodybuilder or is it not? Or is his duty just to compete and to look good on stage like it was back in Dorian's time? You know, it's definitely a question for you guys. You can tell me in the comment section what are your thoughts on this. Me, personally, I don't like it. I don't like the representation of whole bodybuilding, the best bodybuilder in the world, to not show his face the entire year, I don't like it, I don't like it. Anyways, Big Remy posted these uh, uh, two shots, it's side chest and it's also back lat spread, so here in this side chest uh, I am honestly very surprised with his conditioning in this moment in the off season. You can see even better from behind, he is really freaking lean, he is like a couple of weeks out of show. I mean, he is conditioning on stage, it's not really much better than this. This is maybe like four big Remy, three, maybe four weeks out. And uh, as you can see in the caption here, he says this photo was taken yesterday, on April 17th. And he says, I know I haven't been posting uh, very often uh, at all. Uh, and he apologizes and he says he's going to be posting more uh, and very often in the future from now on. He says, I promise you guys. But I don't think he's really being honest. I don't think we're going to see a lot more of Big Remy. In this caption, he also says it's Ramadan and it's very hard for him right now because he can't eat or drink during the day. Uh, but he says his job is to get it done, so he gets it done. And he doesn't say that his job is to, po to post stuff on social media. So apparently he thinks his job is to eat and to train and to compete and that's it. So I don't think we're going to be seeing much more uh, than, than, than this uh, from Big Ram. I hope, I honestly hope he's going to be active on his YouTube channel again or at least on Instagram. But yeah, I don't know, we'll see. And also he says he has a guest posing uh, in, uh, in about... Two, three weeks, May 7th in Pittsburgh, so Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, and obviously he looks freaking great. Now, I was expecting him to be in a solid shape, like body fat percent, because he doesn't have to grow, he doesn't have to push food or drugs, he doesn't have to like get as big as possible at this point, no, he needs to maintain his size and try his best to maintain the size of the waistline. That's probably the most important thing right now. And also to get more conditioned if possible. But even with that condition that we saw the past couple of years, he still wins, unfortunately. I would like to see him more shredded, but it is what it is. At least his waistline is in check. Now that's the most important thing. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I thought he would be much smaller and uh, I would expect him to be this lean, something like this. But he's also very full, very big, very hard. It looks like he's prepping. He looks like he's really focused on eating properly, on doing everything that it takes, you know. He looks really freaking good for the offseason. I don't think many other bodybuilders uh, this deep in their offseason, they look like this. I mean, nobody really does. I mean, like Nick Walker, you can see what he looks like. You can see other guys. I don't think anybody's in this kind of shape uh, like six, seven months out of Mr. Olympia. So I am really impressed. Now, as far as improvements in this side chest, can you see any improvements? Well, not really, but honestly, it looks like he's more balanced. It looks like his upper body is bigger than his legs. It could be just the posing thing, you know, the angle, but maybe he went easy on leg training for a while, and maybe there is this theory that I heard that Big Remy is stuffing his legs with uh, Sintel, with, with uh, sight enhancement oils. And that's why, <laughs> that's the reason why he can't get in shape, because all that oil gets absorbed in his body, gets metabolized, 
and apparently he's using a lot of oil that it actually ends up being too many calories and he can't lose weight. I don't know if that theory makes any sense, uh, it doesn't really sound reasonable to me, but I heard that, so I thought I should mention it. Anyways, from behind, did he make improvements? Again, I don't know if it's just the posing or the angle, but I don't know, until I see him on stage I won't know what kind of changes did he make, but in this photo it looks like his calves are looking bigger. Not that it makes any difference to the judges, the judges do not even look at the calves, but I'm just saying. And as far as like his glutes, they are really, they are in shape, man, I mean, for big Remy standards, this is, again, this is three weeks out. In three weeks, he would be in his Mr. Olympia shape. I don't know why is he this lean right now, is it only because of Pittsburgh Pro guest posing? I don't know, I don't, maybe he's not even trying hard and he's staying shredded like this all year around, you know, maybe he has so much muscle that he can eat whatever he wants and his metabolism is so fast that it just burns through everything, I don't know. Another thing I noticed that looks a little bit better is his back, especially his lower back, which was an issue. Now, his lats are a little bit higher, uh, as you can see, they are not really attached to way too low, and that's something he cannot change, but it looks like he has added some tissue in that lower back, in, that lo in those lower lats. Again, it could be the lighting, the pump, whatever, but does he look good in this photo, in these two photos? He looks absolutely amazing. And does he look improved? I think his calves and his back do look a little bit better and overall symmetry. And uh, yeah, overall, I am really impressed. I am amazed by how big Remy looks right now. Gotta say, good job. I just hope we're gonna see more of this guy in the future, as he promised to us. Before we move on, I want to show you this product from the old school labs, it is called Vintage Blast and it is an amazing freaking pre-workout, I gotta tell you guys, I use it almost every day and it is amazing, it's not just like caffeine based, it's pretty low in caffeine but it has so many great ingredients but it's not just the ingredients that it has, but the form of these ingredients. If you guys understand pre-workouts, you will see what I'm telling you about, it is really high quality product and the new flavor, Caribbean Punch, it tastes so amazing, you guys gotta try it. If you wanna support my channel, guys, go ahead and give it a try. Use my code EVAN or use the link down below in the description of this video. Alright, next we're gonna talk about uh, Blessing Avodibu, uh, who is uh, four weeks out from Indie Pro. Can he win this show? Can he beat Justin Rodriguez? Not very likely, I don't think he can beat him. But did he improve? It looks like he did. And as you can see here is him uh, standing with his coach, George Farah. And I gotta say, I'm really glad for George Farah too, you know, he's been through a lot. He is a great coach, he coached so many great bodybuilders, but lately, probably because of his health, he really hasn't been able to do a lot, you know. He didn't really have any, you know, high profile clients, he didn't really have a lot of success. But it looks like he is coming back with Blessing of Audible, because Blessing probably looks better than ever, you know, he maintained a lot of muscle, you know, for four weeks out, he never looked this big, if you ask me, I don't think he ever looked this big, I think last year with Chad Nichols, he was a little bit more stringy throughout the entire prep and ended up being pretty, you know, pretty small compared to the other guys, especially compared to like Nick Walker, but Nick is much shorter, now Blessing, he's a little bit taller, he's not a tall guy, but he's a little bit taller, uh, though right now he does look pretty big, even though he's a taller guy, he looks packed, you know, he has a lot of muscle and can he be a pro show winner this year? Honestly, guys, I doubt it, but did he make progress? He absolutely did, and uh, I think when he reaches his full potential, I think it's gonna take a little bit longer, especially, like, to grow his legs, and also, I think, his back. It's gonna take him maybe a couple of more years of real hard work, you know, if he really focuses, if he really tries hard, he can get there. But if he takes it easy, and if he thinks he is the best already, then no, it's not gonna happen, he's gonna stay like this, and he won't win any pro shows. Which leads me to this point, Patrick Moore, out of nowhere, posting this video of him uh, flexing his legs, and, uh, you know, quoting uh, his haters, his legs are weak, and posting this video like his legs are actually not weak, but they are looking pretty freaking small in this video. 
And I had to say it, guys, I know I sound like a hater, but honestly, I mean, this guy, it seems like he's a little bit delusional. I think he thinks he's perfect, but he's far from that. He needs to grow a lot more. These legs, I think these legs are smaller than those of, for example, Chris Bumstead. I think Chris has bigger legs than Patrick Moore, even though Chris is classic and Patrick is open. And Patrick has won pro shows. He can be a great bodybuilder. But he doesn't want to grow, or he can't, or he tried and he didn't make it, I don't know. But these legs, are they big enough? I don't know, but it looks like, at least to me, it looks like Chris Bumstead, the classic physique Olympia champion, has bigger legs than the open competitor Patrick Moore. But hey, Chris is squatting six plates. How many plates is squatting Patrick Moore? Maybe three, four? So, you know, it's not all about gear, it is about eating a lot and training heavy, and if Patrick is willing to do that, he might grow and make it so that 2019 10th place in the Mr. Olympia is not the highlight of his career. But it seems like that was it, and from that point it's all downhill. Alright, next we have Nick Walker being super strong. I didn't know Nick was actually this strong, because he's shoulder pressing 165s. 165 pound dumbbells for 10 freaking reps this is crazy stuff now i was curious on, on what he wrote here actually so he says the past few months mentally i was pretty out of it but now i'm back i'm where i belong now and you guys must be thinking the same what is he talking about when did he go you know like out of it he was always in at least it seems that way but in this video he does look you know bigger harder fuller and probably stronger than usual now why is that well isn't it obvious <laughs> kind of i mean i talked about this in my previous videos it looked like, and it seems like I was right, it looked like he was, you know, off or on TRT just maintaining stuff. And now he started blasting because there is like, I don't know, six months before the Mr. Olympia, something like that. And it looks like he started, you know, pushing things. And he looks, he already looks so much better, bigger, fuller, harder, stronger. So that's what he's talking about. He was mentally out of it. Of course he was mentally out of it. He wasn't um, redlining it. And it's not so much fun unless you're redlining it. So now when he's pushing it seriously, now it's all fun, you know, and now he's uh, in it. I just hope he's going to stay healthy and he's going to keep crushing it as he did so far. And hopefully we will see him jump a few spots at the Mr. Olympia this year. It's going to be interesting, definitely. Anyways, guys, whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.